Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 4 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Apple has released macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 4 for developers. The new update arrives as we get closer to the public launch that's right around the corner. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 4, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, and then check for Update. Here you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 4 update size is around 2.22 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 4 and the build number is 24C5089C. Now talking about the new features introduced in this build. This build seems to have bug fixes and performance improvements as a priority. Talking about the macOS Sequoia 15.2 Beta 4 release notes. The macOS 15.2 SD provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.2 Beta 4. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.2, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding Accelerate Resolved Issues, an issue impacting the accuracy of some linear algebra operations, LARG. These functions have been restored to their 3.9.1 implementation. Regarding Activity Kit Resolved Issues, Fixed resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if Activity Kit is linked. Regarding Authentication Services Resolved Issues, Fixed iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs might quit unexpectedly if AS Authorization Controller Perform Autofill Assisted Requests is invoked. Regarding chat GPT integration known issues, for devices with MDM profiles, users with anonymous restrictions are unable to sign out. Workaround, use the chat GPT restriction instead of the chat GPT anonymous only restriction. Regarding its resolved issues, fixed, image and document Q&A requests to chat GPT via Siri might fail if the query doesn't specify photo or document. Regarding kernel resolved issues, fixed, resolved an issue where running Ruby with YJet enabled causes Mac with M4 chip to kernel panic. Regarding NS Writing Tools Coordinator Resolved Issues, fixed, NS Writing Tools Coordinator ignores the returned attributed string from Writing Tools Coordinator replace range in context, proposed text, reason, animation parameters, completion. Resolved an issue to properly name NS Writing Tools Coordinator related enums inside an NS Writing Tools Coordinator extension in Swift style, text update reason, state, text replacement reason, context scope, and text animation. Regarding its known issues, NS Writing Tools Coordinator only supports synchronous NS Writing Tools Coordinator .delegate interfaces, expecting the completion handler to be invoked without escaping the delegate methods. The object does not support multiple NS Writing Tools Coordinator context elements and supports only the first element used. Also, it does not support dynamic decoration container view. The two optional NS Writing Tools Coordinator .delegate methods for multiple container support are never called. Regarding SwiftUI new features for macOS apps linked against macOS 10.2 SDK, the on-scroll geometry change for of action modifier can be used with list to post geometry changes for the list owned scroll view. Regarding its resolved issues fixed, Compiling in the Swift 6 language mode might cause an at entry error due to static property default value is not concurrency safe because non sendable type. Resolved an issue to improve performance and CPU usage when scrolling scroll views and lists. Fixed, views won't accept dropped directories if utype.directory or utype.file URL are not in the list of accepted content types for drop. Regarding Screen Capture Kit new features, Screen Capture Kit is available for Catalyst applications. Developers must use the macOS 15.2 SDK or later. The system picking experience now surfaces additional metadata for user-selected content, including details on the display, application, and window. Regarding virtualization known issues, installation of macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta in VMs is not available. 
Regarding widget kit, resolved issues fixed. iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if Live Activities API and widget kit are linked. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, check out Apple's official documentation for macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta release notes. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.